So today I'm going to show you how to set up an FTP server. Um, how I'll show you how to set it up is using FileZilla, and this will allow you to share f uh, files over your local network very easily. You can expand it to work over the internet as well, but that requires some port forwarding and stuff that I won't really go into in this video. So the program to download, you can get it at filezillaproject.org, and I will put that in the description. Um, but what you need to download is the FileZilla, FileZilla server, not just the client. So make sure to select this one and then just hit download for it. And it's a pretty small installation, so it should only take a minute. It's probably gonna bring you to, uh, to SourceForge. So then after a few seconds, it should be finished downloading. I have it right down here. So then just click on it to install it. Um, it doesn't have many special options. You essentially just can hit next all through the installation. So just hit I agree. Um, you just need to make sure you have the server at least and then hit next and then it'll choose where to install. Um, usually this port should be fine. If you have any conflicts afterwards then you could uh, just reinstall with a different port here and then just hit next. Um, this would make it automatically start every time you start your computer so if you want your FTP server just kind of be running in the background then that's a good one to select. So then just uh, so either Turn this off if you don't want it to start with your Windows, or leave it on if you do. So then just hit install. Then hit close, and now we can actually configure the server. So that's what pops up right here. Um, it is installed on your local host, so you can just leave that as this. The port is the one you configured in the installation. I just left it as the default, which is this one. And then it doesn't have a password by default. So then just hit connect. And now what we need to do is we need to set a home directory to share and then also create a user. So first we'll click on this button up here and create a new user. So just hit add right here and then give them a name. So if I just called it user, um, you don't need to worry about a group. Then if you don't want them to have to worry about a password, then you can just leave it as is. It's probably a good idea to make some sort of a password. Um, I'll just add one here. And then Go to your shared folders, and now you can select a folder to add uh, to share. So if you just hit add right here, then you can browse for the folder. I've already created one in my documents just called FTP, but essentially if you just go to your, uh, your files, then if you just say right click, new folder, you can call it whatever you want, and then this would be the folder that you share, but I just created this one using the same method. So I'm going to select FTP and hit OK, and this big H next to it says that that's your home directory. That's when people log in, that's the directory they're going to see. And then right here they have the authority, like this user has the authority to read files from that folder, but they don't have the authority to put one new ones in. So if you want them to be able to, hit right, and then delete would allow them to obviously delete things from that file. So depending on who you trust, um, <laughs> leave them give them a delete or not delete the privileges so now we've set up a folder to be shared and we've set up a user to be able to access that folder and the user has a password so now we can just hit okay here and then essentially this will just run in the background and it can give you statistics based on people trying to access the folder so i'm going to show you accessing the folder right here um, essentially what you need to know is your ip address so another computer on the network would need to type in your ip address and then type it in right here so how they would do that is you would go to cmd on your computer so the command prompt and then the command to run is ipconfig and that will tell you what your local pass your local ip address is so where i have ethernet adapter ethernet right here it says ipv4 address it's this address right here the 10.0.2.15 so then i would go to here and type in ftp colon forward slash forward slash and then this ip address so this would be from any computer on your local network. So 10.0.2.15 and hit enter. Now it's going to ask for your credentials. So this would be the user you created. And then if they don't have a password, you just hit log on. If they do have a password, then type it in here. I typed in a password and I hit log on. So right now it's just an empty folder. I haven't put anything in here yet. So I can just drag a file in here and it'll appear in the folder. And then if I was to go to my documents and go into FTP, you'll see it's there as well. So essentially anyone can get onto this folder where you give them the credentials, they can drag things into them, they can drag things out, and then it will appear on your local fold on your local computer under that folder that you set as the home directory. And if you go to FileZilla, you can actually see people logging on, who's logged on, who's added what files, all that kind of stuff. So you can get some cool statistics 
But uh, that's the simplest way to just set up an FTP server on your local computer.